What's the difference between lust and love? We get them confused. You know, we talk about love and we date, but what does it really take to find love? I can tell you. Introducing Secrets of Birthdays, the Love and Lust Report. You send us your date of birth, we send you a custom video that's all about you. The biggest problem usually is people choose the wrong person. Not anymore. Find out your birthday secrets today. Available online at secretsofbirthdays.com. Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Friday. It's finally Friday. Cloudy, sharp chance of Randy today for the ambassadors of the Zodiac. The moon is in Capricorn, so emotional focus is on trusted intimacy issues, and that can be on a biblical way. Either way, you may be a little sensitive emotionally about where you draw your boundaries. You might find yourself feeling a little vulnerable. I certainly find that way when the moon is in the eighth house, as we call it astrologically. Great time to connect to someone when you do trust someone. Great time to protect yourself when you don't. And you will be this kind of sensitive for probably another 24 hours. Zen of the Sun. We're in Chapter 3 of Sun and Leo. Today, Mars is ruling the day. Mars is aggressive, masculine, get it done, testosterone energy. In your case, it means it's time to act. Act on what? A certain attitude. What do you believe in? What is your attitude? What is your philosophy of life? What is your approach? What is your mantra? Remember, mine is live, love, be. So for you, it is time to put into action what you say. Do what you say. Practice what you preach. Act on that right attitude. No more thinking about it. No more discussing it in the ambassador twin processors of your minds. Act. Remember, manifestation is not just willing stuff in the universe or wishing upon a star. It's getting off your astro and doing something about it. And today, Mercury's retrograde. That's right, Mercury's retrograde. Now, Mercury's your home planet. You know what happens when Mercury goes to retrograde and you're a Gemini? Your twins replace themselves. So every Gemini has got like some little back twin and some forward twin. The forward twin is what most people see, but in intimate relationships and marriages, they get to see the other twin. But during Mercury retrograde, the Geminis flip the twins. So we see the dark side of the Geminis or the rebellious side or the sexy side or the shy side. So you're gonna switch processors. What it means intellectually is you're going to rethink your position on life. And in your case, your position is how will you ground yourself? How will you self-nurture? Geminis are graduating in the next three weeks. How they take care of themselves. That means what does your family look like? What does your home situation look like? Something you worked on really for two years with Saturn and Virgo. So in the next three weeks, you are definitely going to graduate that. I would not sign a lease, give notice that you're going to move or do anything major with the home and family until the end of this particular Mercury retrograde. It's very powerful. And in your particular case, it's going to end up helping you ground yourself or ungrounding yourself. But I think if you watch Soul Garden, you can only be grounded because knowledge is most of the power. All right, Gemini, that's all I have for your weekend forecast. On Monday, your final test with attitude issues. All that more when I see you after the weekend. Live, love, be. Soul Garden.